hi we're back in the kitchen today we're renovating the kitchen on a budget as i've said before this is just a temporary measure to buy some time so we can renovate the rest of the house because we have a huge project on our hands so today i'm going to give you a recap of where we're up to so far we're going to do the floor the doors are going in the tiles are painting new flooring you name it we're doing it i'll show you what we've done so far so yesterday we put together the ikea unit and today we've filled it up and sorted the kitchen out a little bit more uh, which you can probably see from behind me over here over there it's looking a lot better and i'll show you the progress i don't know what you want to see first do you want to see the ikea unit or the kitchen first decisions should i show you the kitchen first okay so so last time I showed you the opening, but as you can see, a little bit more work has been done here. We put the doors in. The doors are going to open into the kitchen, so we won't have room for that. So that will go. My little rabbit I brought from HomeSense. Love that. Um, just love the view as well. Absolutely love the view from the kitchen, looking out onto the garden. And it's great with the doors, um, because now you're going to be able to see that view from the hallway as well. So... I'm, I'm excited for that it's really good I've got the Joseph and Joseph box here because I didn't want to forget to show you this is Joseph and Joseph the 90 litre easy empty laundry baskets it's pretty good here's the lid looks like a shield actually doesn't it so as many of you know I love Joseph and Joseph products because they're just very innovative in their design so this is it with the lid off just pull the handles pull it out take it to your washing machine so you can sort it out into darks and lights or however you want to sort it before and then it makes it really easy it looks nice as well easy carry tote bags definitely let me know if you have any joseph and joseph products or you have any like your go-to products so joseph and joseph definitely products that I go to we've got their worktop saver their knives, all their chopping boards, I'm looking at them now. Just feel like they think about the way their products are designed, which I really appreciate. Also have a link I'm gonna share with you. Um, I'll pop that in the description box below. So over here, this is all gonna have doors on. Um, the Ninja Air Fryer, love this. I have a review video on that. Um, I'll link that so you can see, but amazing. Um, this is the Joseph & Joseph chopping boards. They're just very neat and tidy. And we have the fridge. This is my pile to sort out because we've got so many cleaning products and I don't think I need them all. I use this one a lot. So this is Purdy and Fig and better for the environment, obviously, because you haven't got the plastic bottles. But now I don't want to throw away the plastic bottles, which we've got half products in. And I'm just like, it's a job I need to do because I don't use like the polish now because I use that. Hmm, that will be a job for uh, either later on today or a different day, I think. <laughs> right, back to the tour. So we put up a curtain just here to kind of separ separate off the kitchen and the utility room. And we've turned it into a utility room slash pantry. So we'll go on in and the curtain is just Ikea and the rail is also Ikea so I wonder how far back I can stand so you can see this is the shelves we built together yesterday and now it's got all the things on so we decided to put the food on this and then the like, saucepans plates things like that are in the kitchen area Still not really sure what to use these baskets for. Again, if you've got any suggestions, please let me know. We'll just put some kitchen foil, um, cling film, rubbish bags, and then here we've got some popcorn, some snacks, some snacks in there at the moment. Also got some little hooks as well. Um, again, not really sure what to use those for. But I'm sure I'll find something. Again, any suggestions, please let me know. This planner board is amazing. It's from Amazon. Really, really love this. So I would recommend. Same with the weekly meal planner. That's really handy. You've got a shopping list there, snacks there. So that's really good too. So then we've got freezer 
and we've still got the tumble dryer and washing machine there. This is really handy. So this is a drawer, but it also means that you can stack your washing machine and tumble dryer on top of each other. So very useful. Again, don't worry, I'll link everything below so you can find it if you want it. <laughs> Not sure where to put the bread bin at the moment. The moment is just sat on top of the freezer and we've got um, cooking booze, dog bowls and the treat box as well. So maybe they'll go on the windowsill. Not really sure what to do with those either at the moment. So that's what we're up to so far with the kitchen. Do us every things like and subscribe. So just had a delivery of the self adhesive film. So it looks like this It's going to go over the worktop gonna be good excited to see what that looks like also kind of tempted to put it over the tiles as well but not sure at the moment so I haven't got a solution for the tiles yet we have got the cupboard doors the cupboard doors all set up on the dining room table these ones are fine but six out of the eight 500 units all like damaged along the edge or the corners so we're waiting to hear back from B&Q as to whether they've got any more in. It's a bit disappointing because we really wanted to paint them today. So we got the white matte doors. They do have, they look like they're gloss, but it's just because they've got a protective film over them. And then we've got washable matte kitchen cupboard paint. This is black sand. And we're gonna paint them. Which I really wanted to start today, but I can't. Got a new roller there, and then also these are the handles. Look at these. And against the black, I think they're going to look really nice. But we'll have to wait and see until we can paint them, which we can't yet. And then if I just come around here, I'll show you, look. So it looks shiny, but that's the colour they actually are. So and because they're matte, they should be okay to paint. We've just been to the gym and we're in B&M looking at their vinyl self-adhesive wall tiles um, to see for the kitchen. But I think these ones look quite bathroomy. They're £10 yet five sheets. And then these ones are kind of like mirrored. So just seeing if there's a design that we like to go over the kitchen tiles. But like they even show you in a the bathroom. They're nice though. 25 by 25 centimeters each tile. We've got some more down here. No, I don't think, I don't think they have. I don't think they have a pattern we want. We decided not to get the tiles and decided to actually paint them instead. Feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Never wanted to end it like we did I guess shit happens for a reason But it's like something feels different from back then Why don't So this is two coats and this is one coat and we use tile paint in chalk white. Next up we're moving on to painting the kitchen cupboards and this is black sand. So we'll see how it turns out. I had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Never wanted to end it like we did I guess shit happens for a reason But it's like something feels different from back then Why don't
We have a delivery of a new bin. So this is a dual bin rather than just a single bin, which is going to be really handy because one side can be used for recycling and the other can be used for like normal rubbish. And it's got soft clothes. You just push the pedals on the bottom and it has handles on the side, which makes it really easy to move as well. Then the bins have handles, so it's easy to take them in and out, easy to empty. We're now going to put the vinyl on the worktop. So this is one last look at the worktop as it is. Oh my goodness, it's so much brighter. It's not done yet, but I love it already. So we just need to cut out where the hob is going to go. Which is what we're doing at the moment. The hob just needed an extra push to make sure it was in place. It did take a few of us to put the worktop on because one person had to hold it while the other person stuck it down. But we finished the worktop and moved on to taking the radiator off. So this was the radiator that was there when we moved in. We're going to paint the tiles behind and then put a brand new radiator in its place. So I'm alternating between painting the tiles and painting the cupboard doors just so they both have time to dry in between coats. I'm looking forward to being able to put the hinges on these cupboard doors and being able to put them on the cupboards. I'm really excited to see what the finished look looks like, especially with the new worktop in place. The old cupboard doors are off and now we're putting new hinges onto the new cupboard doors so they're ready to go. So now the next day we're in B&M and we're looking at flooring. So we're looking at self-adhesive tiles or self-adhesive planks so we can stick it over the top of the current flooring. We just want something that's brighter to uplift the kitchen and remember this is just a temporary measure so we think we're going to go for these ones. And now for a much needed hot chocolate break. I think we've deserved it, don't you? Hi, so I'm in the kitchen and there's a lot of work that's happened since I last filmed. So I'm gonna show you where we're up to in the kitchen and then I'm going to do some more work tomorrow. So first up in the doorway, you can see we've put some self-leveling concrete down and that means that it's going to be the same level as the tiles. We had to remove some of the tiles so we're able to fit in the doors. 
We've also plastered underneath the plug and along that wall there as well, so it's all smooth. We've put the light switch on the inside, inside the kitchen rather than outside of the kitchen. So we had to move that when we made the opening bigger where the doorway is. It's looking so different in here. So obviously we put the worktop on, we've got the doors on, we've got the handles on. Oh my goodness, it's such a transformation. Now we're just working out putting some shelves on the wall there. Hence why the laser's going crazy. We've got a new light fitting above the sink and a new blind. It's really nice material and I like the effect of the light fitting in front of the blind because I think it just goes really well colour wise. So that's where we're up to so far but we still have quite a lot of work to do including silicone, putting in the new doors, doing the floor and I'm going to show you all of that in this video. So first job of the day is to silicone around the tiles. I've never done this before so this is first time, fingers crossed, we'll see how it turns out but I'm just going to go really slowly and try not to wiggle too much. So apparently you just need to try and put a thin bead all the way along and then use your finger to like smudge it. <laughs> I don't know whatever word I can use other than smudge it. Um, and then just wipe your finger off onto a piece of cloth and start again. It's not looking too bad. I'm quite pleased so far. Okay, now for the other side. I'm just going to speed this video up. Don't think that I'm a pro now and I can do it super fast because I really can't. Almost done, almost there. And this is the finished result. So I'm going to put everything back on the worktop. And I don't actually think I did too bad a job with the silicon. Even if I do say so myself. Right, on to the next job, which is sanding the wall just to make sure any rough bits are now off and it's ready to be painted. So we've got a few little jobs like this and then on to the bigger ones. Well, we've got a little bit of a problem. So I can't paint it yet or can't paint it fully yet because it's still wet at the bottom. So dehumidifier to rescue. Hopefully it's going to dry the wall there. This is amazing. It really is really, really good. I'll link it below because it's the best dehumidifier I've ever had. And I've had a Breville one in the past as well, but would highly recommend this one. It's just a very efficient super fast and yeah amazing everything you want from a dehumidifier and it's really compact as well so hopefully that's going to dry the wall When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done All the good times just begun Oh, we know what we have, let's hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy Finally right With you and I The future is bright oh, you and I, we got it. Oh. So I'm just in the process of giving the cupboard doors a coat of paint so obviously we painted them before they were hung up and just you know like where we've hung them they've got a little bit marked and where the light now comes in you can see a little bit better so i'm just giving those a coat of paint 
just to finish them off. So with painting the doors, we used matte furniture paint, black sand, um, obviously used a big tin, but then ran out. So I went to b &Q and they didn't have any big tins left, but they had two small ones. Um, so we just picked up two small ones and I've used half a tin on touching the doors up. I'm just going to pop these underneath the sink so that then if the doors need touching up at all, then we've got some paint. So at least then we'll know where it is as well, rather than we've got a whole, whole pile of paint going on at the moment for different rooms. But if we pop this in the cupboard, then we'll know where it is. <laughs> make it nice and easy. I try and do that as well in bedrooms, is just tip the paint into a little jar and then pop it in the back of the wardrobe or in the back of a cupboard so it's easy, you know where it is, you know, think, oh, is that the colour that I use for the bedroom or is that the colour I use for the hallway? So just a little tip just to keep it easy. Yeah, I'm quite pleased with this paint as well. Although it does say black sand and I would like your opinion because it's supposed to be black sand. Is it black or does it look more blue to you? So these are cupboards. What do you think? I actually think it does look a little bit more black in this light. But I'll show you again in the morning and then, yeah, let me know what you think. Black, blue, it's supposed to be black sand. This is the colour it's supposed to be. I've got hair attached to it, look. <laughs> that is the same colour. I'm going to have to show you again in the morning as well. So I did say I'd show you the doors going in and they're just about to go in so I'm going to give you a little sneak peek. So just started to paint the hallway so it doesn't affect the doors so you do get a little bit of a sneak peek of the hallway. So that's the frame, we've got the doors there, look at those. Oh my goodness I cannot wait for them to go in. It's going to look amazing. So up our new picture. And new tea towels too. These all come from TK Maxx, of course. So pleased with the new radiator as well. It's looking so much neater. Doors are done. Are you ready to see them? Ta da! Oh, I love them. So happy. Boo's trying to get in. Look at that. So we still need to put the handles on. Oh. And then like, unclip at the top. Look at that. Keep watching because I will show you these doors when they're completely finished. I'm going to switch all the lights on so you can see a little bit better as well. Just makes it so much brighter and yeah, wow. Compared to the like single door, which was probably only about the size of one of those. That's incredible. So, so pleased with these. And the kitchen is looking so much better. I can remember if I locked it or not again. <laughs> yeah, they're lovely doors. And then the kitchen is looking so much better, almost um, just filled in some more of this wall. So it's going to get a coat of paint tomorrow. And I am going to do the floor tomorrow now. So we've got the floor tiles here. I think these are from Amazon. Again, I'll link them below. So I'll do the floor tiles. No, I won't do them tomorrow. I'm going to do them the following day, I think. Anyway, some point in the next couple of days, I'll do the floor tiles. But really pleased with the doors and the door handles. Look at 
so I'm going to call it a night now but this isn't the end of the video so I'll check back in tomorrow do those lovely things like and subscribe if you're enjoying this video so far and I'll see you in a minute So I'm just giving the floor a quick vacuum and clean before I start to stick the self-adhesive tiles down. We did buy the ones from B&M but then when we got them back we realised they were too close to colour to the actual work top and it didn't quite work. So we returned those and then ordered these self-adhesive tiles from Amazon. I'll link them below because they are amazing. I thought oh they're a bit thin but they're actually really really good they are super sticky you just peel off the back really really <laughs> it's like that's not sticky really really sticky so they stick really well they're easy to put down and they're really easy to cut as well so I'm actually really really impressed with them a couple of them have come like when I've taken the plastic off they're missing the corner bit which I just showed you a moment ago now I'm not too worried about that because I do need to cut some of these anyway so I'll just make sure I cut that section off so it's not a big deal at all and I've gone through one pack already almost one pack already and I've only had two like this and like I said doesn't really doesn't matter but yeah, I'm really impressed so far and I really like the design as well. They're easier than the flooring in the study. But it's still hard on your knees. <laughs> Look, comes off really sticky and then you just put it in place. And obviously you can put them closer together. We're just putting them where the tiles were before and then we're actually gonna grout. So again, I think that makes it easier. <laughs> and then like over here, they're half ones. Well, this is a half one. I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that one because it looks like the angles. Gonna be interesting anyway, but I'll just make sure I use this one. So not a big deal at all. I just love it walking through those double doors. Look, they even have covers for the screws. You see, they are so neat. It just tidies up the door. And then we've got beading on this side as well. There wasn't on there yesterday. And look at this floor. 
it's not quite finished <laughs> still got a little bit left to do but look looks so much better so pleased with that look now the doors look a little bit more blue or gray i don't know do they look black blue or gray what do you think let me know in the comments below it's supposed to be black we have the light fitting up and working at the moment that's the only light we've got on in here the shelves are up as well love those and love these stacy solomon jars as well and the hello spring sign also stacy solomon from asda this is what it looks like with both lights on this floor just really brightens the room up really pleased really pleased with how that turned out and how easy it is to stick down obviously we've got some more to do so round here and round near the door as well so i will finish that off but yeah really pleased with them and I'm just going to paint this as well and just finish off the tiles there apart from that almost done i've got paint brushes drying on the side because i think I finished painting in here as well so I still got a few finishing off jobs to do so keep watching and i'll show you the complete finished kitchen and now if we grout in the floor of course you don't have to do this you can stick the self-adhesive tiles closer together and then there's no need to do the grout we just wanted to grout the floor and put the tiles in a similar pattern as before because we thought it would look nicer now hopefully if you're completing your own kitchen makeover this video helps you with some tips and tricks along the way okay the moment you've all been waiting for the finished kitchen let's go on inside so entering through these beautiful doors these doors um, were not budget because we are going to keep them when we do renovate so these will definitely be staying absolutely love them so they're a permanent fixture and then uh, entering into the kitchen oh my goodness it's just so calm, peaceful, relaxing now. The floor has been done. So we grouted in between the floor tiles. You wouldn't even realize that they're self-adhesive vinyl. Look at the cupboard doors. We put um, some hooks underneath the shelf so we could hang some mugs. So when we took a trip to Stamford, we saw these lamps and they were 70 pound. Purchased this one from Amazon, we could switch it off. <laughs> it's cause I'm pressing too hard. You only just have to press it lightly. Yeah, Stamford, they were 70 pound. Purchased that from Amazon. Even before we went to Stamford, I think it was about 20. So it's such a good price. This is crazy how much different it looks than before. So new light, new blinds. Really pleased with how the doors came out and the handles, love those. Just love the black and the gold together. Although this is what I mean, in this light, does it look black or does it look blue? I don't really mind, I love it either way, but. <laughs> and then new shelves and mug rail. New tea towels, nice spring tea towels, a new radiator, and the transformation of the tiles as well. Oh my goodness, so much has, so much has happened in such a short space of time. And then we even put um, these drawers in the bottom here, so it's easy to grab out the vegetables. And then over on this side, new bin. Okay, comment below what should be the first thing that I bake in this kitchen because I haven't baked anything since being in this house and I feel like I need to bake something. So let me know in the comments below, what should I bake? Oh, also since moving in, this is a new hob, a new sink, new tap. 
and also new oven as well and that's our microwave so it really did need a complete <laughs> refresh um, to make it functional but I'm so happy so so happy with how this kitchen looks from before I can't believe we're done I was just I'm so pleased with how this room has turned out um, it is just a temporary measure as you know it just buys us some time for renovating the other rooms and then we can come back to this room but it has felt like we've had a few months without actually having a kitchen so now we've got everything in functional working and it's a lot brighter it's so much nicer to be in this room it really is if you want to see more home renovation then check out this playlist here I'm thinking next week we'll head out into the garden and I'll show you what the garden's like and we'll do a little bit of a spring setup ready for spring. Um, I've got a few bits that I would like to put out into the garden and some jobs out there I want to do and I would like to show you. So we'll head out into the garden next week which I think will be really nice. If there's anything in particular you want to see add a comment down below um, to let me know and if you've enjoyed this video do us lovely things like and subscribe <laughs> head over to the home renovation playlist and i'll see you over there bye